hanging out in a comfortable holler with Jimmy Phelps. We'll tell you why uh, in a few minutes. But Jimmy, fresh off a of podium finish down at Bridgeport. I know all you guys were watching that race during the week. What was that, Wednesday, Jimmy? Yes, Tuesday? Uh, Wednesday night. Now, you've been yeah. down there before with the series. What, was it? I've heard some people say it's a lot different. It's a little bit different. What did you think? I thought it was entirely different. Entirely different. Um, yeah, so much shorter straightaways. Um, still pretty fast, you know, but uh, high banks real wide. Um, a lot of grip all over it, and uh, it just really racing. Yeah. I know? didn't see the whole thing. I saw yeah. the highlight clips. Yeah, looked like a very nice racetrack and a place like yeah. you said where you could go anywhere you want. It, it was kind of one lane in the heats. You know, you had oh, to well, kind of run around the top. Um, I don't know. We didn't qualify really that great, and uh, fortunately in the feature you could you could run all over the thing. You know, and uh, got to be a little bit of a tire game, and and um, guys were you know succumbing to flats and some different stuff. We went with some harder stuff, actually kind of saved our stuff early. So it wasn't a traditional um, 300? No, no. And um, anyways, we were just, you know, we are fortunate to make it to the end. We had a car that was pretty good and, and uh, you know, got to the top five and, you know, fortunately we were able to stay there. Same car as we're going to run today? Yep. I would think so. They're about yeah. similar. What is it now, like three-eighths or something or half? Um, or just under I, half? I'd say it's just under half. Just yeah. under half. Honestly, I mean, right now we've been running the same car just about everywhere. We got a car, a backup car that we, you know, you know, had full intentions of running on the series, but uh, with the limited amount of racing, we've been kind of trying to just kind of stick to one car and, okay. you know, kind of keep tuning on it. Okay. What are we thinking for the rest of the year outside of here I, and, and whatever series races? I don't races? know. You know, it's funny. We were joking Wednesday night that that could have been it, but I, I, I really don't I know. You know, there's some, uh, you know, you know, there's definitely with the with the executive order getting pushed back now to almost the end of August. You know, that's going to take us right through the end of the regular season. Um, most likely, we'll see Labor Day shows be, you know, be canceled as well. I would say I don't see this really changing all that much. So I, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to be negative, but you know, the reality of it is, you know, I kind of look at other things going on, at least in the Syracuse area, and when you got. You know the Carrier Dome. You know, making announcements they're not going to do the football season with fans. Um, you know, they're still not putting fans in any professional sporting events. Um, it doesn't really leave short track racing up our way a whole lot of hope. You know, so uh, discouraging, disappointing. Hopefully, we can get this all behind us, and 2021 is a better, you know, a better deal. Somebody was asking me this the other day. I didn't ask you this beforehand, so I'm sorry if this maybe goes too far. But a friend of mine was going, well, why don't some of these tracks just do like a big sportsman and street stock show, something they could pay the purse with out of the pits and, and just maybe schedule something like that? Has that thought gone well, through your Well, it, it hasn't crossed our mind. I mean, you know, hasn't, quite hasn't. honestly, no, it hasn't. hasn't. We, okay. um, you know, every, every, everybody's got a different method to skin the cat, you know, and, and uh, you know, and, and again, I mean, no, nothing against the guys that are racing, you know, we're fortunate enough we're going to get to race tonight, you know, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, you know, really, truly due to the, the, the efforts of Paul Cole and his staff here and, and um, his desire to give everybody somewhere to race, you know, but we're, our model at Wheat Sports is a little different, you know, we're in a situation where we're trying to do bigger events all the time. Gotcha. Um, we don't really fit into that, you know, weekly weekly trend or weekly mold um, we don't you know we try to do the touring divisions and all that stuff and it, it you know the way our schedule is formatted I mean it would be virtually financially impossible to do it without fans um, and when you look at where we've come from 2013 to today at Weed Sports Speedway uh, a good I'd say a good you know 75% of the effort put into the place was revolving around the fan experience so um, That's to, true. Be, to 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 open the gates without them to us doesn't doesn't really make a lot of sense and um, I get that in our case we're you know you know we're still you know we haven't canceled the rest of the year but you know we're looking at our options we're looking at we're looking at uh, you know 2021 a lot harder than we are Labor Day weekend let's put it that way so are we thinking industry wise maybe that 2021 could be bigger than maybe it would have been anyway I, I don't know I mean I think you know everybody's gonna have to go back to drawing board a little bit I mean I don't think we're gonna just get 100% back to normal but we, we definitely want to be able to bring people in, in the facility and uh, you know how we manage that you know we'll, we'll obviously um, come down to what we're given for a, a template and a toolkit to work with and then we just got to get creative and, and, and somehow figure out how we can you know make it fun are we thinking about any American racer events perhaps uh, we get out? right now are not. Okay. Um, Hoosier Racing Tire is a uh, one of the biggest partners we have at Wheat Sports Speedway. So, I get you know, quite honestly, that's probably uh, that's probably not on the table. 
Okay. One of the reasons, by the way, that we're in this holler is they play music on the PA system here in the pit area in Canandaigua. I got dinged on that, not realizing that my mics were going to pick up copyrighted music in the background. And you told me that's something you guys have, have been very aware of at Weedsport. Yeah, so I think probably for that, well, since, I think since we've been running events, we've actually paid the, you know, paid the contract fees or whatever whatever you want to call them. Um, I don't really know a ton about it. I know that it's not overly expensive, but um, it grants us the ability to, you know, play the radio, um, play music, play introduction music, you know, during mm -hmm. the spring car events and, you know, some of the big mod events, stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I mean, in, in the essence of, you know, trying to do things right and, you uh, those little costs add up, and, and uh, but they're they're necessary so that uh, you know everything's being done correctly. And anybody who's done any YouTube knows. I mean, you can't put background music. You couldn't put Journey in background music and do a family thing and, and put that online. Uh, how how were you guys even made aware of that? That well, there was a problem, I, a potential problem. Quite honestly, I'm not even a hundred percent sure. I know that probably be a better question for Brett Moses uh, with Weed Sport Productions and my He's wife, who I guy. think, yeah, who I think those two kind of deal with it. I, I personally have never okay. dealt with it, you know, but mm -hmm. um, I know that, uh, I know we had to, you know, I know, you know, I know we were told to, you know, that's, that's how we do it without, you know, running the risk of getting in trouble. So mm -hmm. for the cost of it, it, um, you know, it makes sense. You know, we always got music playing. We always got stuff going on. Right. So, um, yeah. But, mm -hmm. Yeah, because the thing is that you charge admission. If you were having a backyard party with your friends, you can sit there with your CD player and play yeah. all the stuff that you wanted. So, and that's why bars have jukeboxes and things like that because that license comes with that. So excited tonight, we get two features. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's nerve wracking at times. You know, you never know. You want to get through the first one clean, so right. you, got, you got something to work with in the second one. But yeah, I mean, you know, with the limited amount of racing we're getting, the limited amount of track time we're getting, you know, anytime you can show up and. You know, do two events in one night, we'll take it. Because a lot of times, I remember we used to do these years ago, and it's amazing how that first rain out makeup feature, knowing you still have, like you said, a whole yeah. other night of racing to go after that, like they, they go green and checkered a lot of times, don't they? Yeah, well, it's, you know, again, it's it's not something everybody, you know, it's not something as a team you look forward to because it, yeah. you know, depending on how things go the first round, you know, it could really mess up your night. But um, really not in a points picture here, and we're, you know, we're, I don't know. We get, you know, we're fortunate to race with some really good guys here, you know, and, and um, stuff can happen. Obviously, it has, um, but uh, you know, I think everybody, everybody here for the most part's, you know, on their game and, mm -hmm. and knows the uh, knows the situation, and we're all looking to get to the end of the night without any major problems. So I, I'm hoping that we're good. I would think the big thing is, first of all, I'll ask you two questions. You can answer them back to back. Did we bring a backup car, and did we have to do more tires, obviously, to be ready for this? Yeah, well, you know, the, this place isn't really hard on tires, so really would, you know, we got, whether we run the same tires or not, I don't know. You, you almost could, you know, because it doesn't okay. really wear them. But um, we do have a backup car, hoping, you know, that's an absolute last resort. it stays right up there, right? <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, yeah, there is one here. So. Yeah, and not fully prepared and ready to go, right? Yeah. So that was a little extra yeah. work we had to do to make sure that well, was Well, we were ready, actually, right? for us it really wasn't because we had it, um, you know, we had it with us for Bridgeport on Wednesday. Oh, this, right. this is the first time we've had a second car in the trailer all year. So since, we just left it up Florida. there? Yeah, so we just left it up there. Okay, very cool. Yeah. Well, hope you have fun, man. And yeah. Let's so, hope uh, that we can get out to Weedsport and... And yeah, maybe was, I could sit you know, at the bar and get some ice cream. I know and, that'd be nice, know. right? That'd be <laughs> nice. One can dream. We, uh, we, you know, we'll just see what happens. I mean, obviously mm -hmm. now we're we're treading on uh, treading on, you know, whatever the state brings at us at the yeah. end of August, and we'll just go from there. Good to see you, man. So, Hope you have fun thanks, tonight. Doug. Remember, guys, Appreciate like it. and subscribe. Click on a little blue red, a little blue E in the corner there. That'll let you know when we're doing cool stuff.